Well, next we have uh, Zadie Ortiz, Data Crunch Lab. Uh, Zadie Ortiz, PhD, is the founder and chief data scientist at Data Crunch Lab. She's passionate about helping teams and organizations derive actionable insights for data-driven decision-making. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, so earlier this month, in June 1st, the uh, US Census Bureau put out a toolbox called the City SDK, and they wanted to uh, in foster innovation in civic hacking. They put it out for the Civic Day of, of Hacking last week, and they also have a challenge. So I wanted to explore the toolbox and figure out how to use it and tell you all about it so you uh, can try to use it for the for, for the activities that we have planned for tomorrow and, and on Saturday. So the city SDK improves the usability and access of the data that is already out there. The US Census Bureau has information from economic uh, data, employment information, for the age demographic. But if you want to do an API, you have to find out what the FIPS code, and that's a string with a 06 and a 37 for North Carolina, and another number for another state. Um, and if you want the age information, you have to know that the variable is B01002 underscore 001E. But however, with the CDSDK, you will be able to tell, it, tell the to tell the, that the what you want is the age and that will give you back the median age for the state for the county level or the or the uh, or the area that you want in addition to the USS bureau they have also included modules that include uh, that have information from other from other data sets uh, for example the energy Information Administration has a, a module that you can integrate, and you also have information from the USDA Farmers Market. And they also have another module from Socrata, so all of the data sets from Socrata would be able to be used with the CDSDK. They have opened it up. They have it on GitHub, where you can expand your, the modules yourself, and some people from ESRI and the, have incorporated modules so that you can also use S3 data with the CDSDK and even uh, expand it to include information from the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Not all of the data is there, but they have some of the data included. So the idea is you use that CDSDK into your Java code, you um, make the call and are able to do your, your app with that. This is just a view of what the, the portal looks like. You access the portal with the Bitly code, and you have the Twitter code, the GitHub, and at the top you have uh, the navigation tools for go getting the, the different resources. So resources include getting started. You are able to get a key to, to, to use their, the code, and you can use some of the demos that are included in there. It's very easy to use and they give you uh, instructions. Even if you're not a developer, you're able to follow the instructions and, and play with it. There's guides and documentation and even some examples. And also for, for the developers, the, the JavaScript modules. This is one, a view of one of the demo apps. It integrates the census data uh, as well as the Chicago crime data. I selected the motor vehicle arrest in May of 2015 and also the median household income. You see that the, the white parts of the areas are lower median household incomes. And with the visualization in this app, uh, we can tell that the arrests were mostly in those areas of, of lower uh, income. So my goal tonight was for you to uh, understand what the, what the CDSDK has and what is uh, available and how to get involved. So you can get involved by developing modules for local data sets 
And there's also a challenge that the that the US Census Bureau is sponsoring to address integrated sustainability problems in your city. So if you have an idea for the hackathon later that uses uh, some of these data sets for integrated sustainability problem, you can go there and also uh, enter that, that challenge. Thank you. Thanks so much. These tools are, are, are some of what will make the CCAT products awesome. So I encourage everybody to dig in and play around with City SDK. Uh, 